Hello YouTube, this is Irish Bear 76 talking about CCSVI and Dr. Zamboni some more. <laughs> um, I'll start this off by saying uh, those of you who have been trying to reach me on Facebook, uh, for some reason Facebook was uh, locking up my computer and freezing it. Uh, I came back here, I've been working the last week every day, so I haven't had much time. I've, I've responded to emails as I can. Um, but the Facebook thing for now is not is not going to happen. So um, I to make a long story short, I came back. Facebook was on. I hadn't gotten on Facebook, and I was afraid of you know uh, anybody in my friend accounts you know getting having their computers lock up and start acting crazy. So for the time being, I'm off Facebook. You're more than welcome to email me at my my private email is irishbear76 at yahoo.com. Um, just email me directly. Um, there are some good Facebook groups out there. Um, one is uh, in, in I think it's called like in defense of Dr. Zamboni or um, uh, Marsha, as her name is Marsha, she's uh, heading up that uh, Facebook group. So feel free to f you know visit that. This is MS, uh, the forum section. There's a lot. There are a lot of places where people are talking about CCSVI. Okay. Now, and Wayne, Wayne uh, Fever, I think that's how you say his name, he, he's really good at getting the word out to, to various people in the MS group, so um, please frequent his, uh, his wall because he's um, very knowledgeable about, you know, uh, new things coming out, you know, online, uh, a lot of Canadian papers or whatever. So, speaking of Canadian papers and Canadians. Uh, there was a Dr. Mark Friedman, I believe was his name in Canada, really gave Dr. Zamboni a hard time. Um, very critical of him, which we knew would happen. Um, Dr. Zamboni's actually defended himself in his research at this point, and uh, he's encouraging doctors to, to do re his research. Uh, the Italian government has forbidden him from uh, doing any further uh, liberation procedures until the further study and it's exactly what I thought would happen uh, somebody's wanting to help people and everyone has got their their thumb in the pie so to speak they uh, pharmaceutical groups are probably starting to get nervous which they shouldn't because people are continuing their their treatments I mean their their medications uh, I was talking to Lauren Parrott uh, well, emailing her and you know we pretty much came to the consensus that they're going to keep you on your medicine as an adjunct therapy anyway, because even when they have done the liberation procedure in the events or when they just did the angioplasty, it would start to close back up and people would start having the autoimmune um, symptoms again. And uh, so staying on, on your medicines uh, as an adjunct therapy, even if the liberation procedure becomes commonplace, I still think that neurologists are going to want to keep you on your medication. So. You know, whether it's the pharmaceutical companies or, you know, where all the, which they have a lot of pull. Um, I think they are doing a lot to, to discredit Zamboni and to, uh, to stop this. Um, the Italian government is doing a lot to stop it. Be that as it, as it may, um, I'm very, very happy to see the exposure that CCSVI is getting. I'm very glad to see people getting involved. And he, you know, what I've said to you from the beginning is tell anyone who will listen to you, your neurologists, EMS societies, your local uh, paper, um, start, uh, we're going to start an MS chapter, I think, in the area of Indiana that I live in to try and get MS patients uh, together and to uh, stress the importance of um, getting some of that research here. Uh, anyway. Uh, <sighs> It's a little overwhelming right now. I think we're all very excited about this new um, procedure and this finding. And um, even though a lot of the, a lot of the initial findings are, are limited with the secondary progressive and primary progressive, what you have to see with this is it's much like when you have a, a myocardial infarct. You have a heart attack. You do major damage to the heart muscle. But then later on, well, you know, you've identified okay, he's going to have heart attacks they can clear up blockages and prevent future heart attacks. However, the damage to the heart is done. And with this model that Dr. Zamboni has, the brain is very similar. Um, the plaques, he, they, he, you know, he noticed are around the vein, the cerebral veins and arteries, you know, uh, so he's seeing them being venocentric. Uh, 
so, uh, you know, the, the lesions. So it's kind of always been pointing toward a cardiovascular. You can't have two things like that and discredit Dr. Zamboni. When plaques just coincidentally happen to be on veins, happen to be on cerebral veins all the time, that they're always there, that tells you it's, it's a venous thing. And the fact that the iron deposits, the iron uh, being a, a large part of what develops the plaque. So, I mean, there's there, you can't refute it. Go ahead and say he's, he's lunatic fringe and he's not a very good scientist. You can say whatever you want. Um, the simple fact of the matter is, is, yes, I do still think the MS is autoimmune, but it's, I think it's autoimmune because of the venous problem. So, yeah, if you can reverse um, the vein doing that, you're not going to have any more auto, autoimmunity happening. So, um, it's kind of like a chicken egg thing, you know, which came first. Obviously, it was the venous insufficiency. You can't say that the MS is causing the venous problem. Um, causation is CCSVI, and the result is autoimmunity, which results in multiple sclerosis. That you, you can try and refute that. You can say, well, this guy doesn't know that. I do, okay? Um, Dr. Zamboni knows it too. Um, he's even keeping it in question, you know, because it's never been 100% proven that MS is an autoimmune disorder. There are enough studies and, and results from, from experiments and, and uh, knowledge to where um, they were 99% sure it's an autoimmune process. If you can stop that venous insufficiency, though, and open things up, then the iron's not going to deposit and plaques aren't going to build and the immune system's not going to attack its own tissue. So it's, it's a moot point whether it's autoimmune if you can fix um, the venous insufficiency. So, oh right, I'm kind of rambling, but Dr. Zambon Zamboni has come out and he has encouraged scientists, of vascular neurologists, to just, to just do research, to do experimentation. He cannot, he's been stopped, he's panicking to get it out. He wants to help. And everyone is everyone in the medical establishment is stopping it so it is up to, to you and me it's up to all of us ms it, the cat's out of the bag we're aware of it now the world's heard about ccsvi they can't make us unlearn about it what we have to do now is stand up for our right as a patient of a chronic debilitating disease to have all resources possible okay and it's it's going to take um a strong, strong MS community. So anyone who has the know-how, um, please try and link, you know, Facebooks and MySpace and YouTube and MS societies and personal blogs and get the word out and have everyone trading. I mean, copy and paste links. My videos, if you want to use any of my videos, just use them. You have my permission, okay? Don't even ask. You have my permission. Um, Anything, anything that I've, I've said about CCSVI, you know, go ahead, put it out there. Um, we can even talk to, to people in the MS Society about focusing a little bit more on their websites about this, this new research. No, it's not a cure at this time. Yes, it can stop the disease, which to me is a cure. Um, it's, it can stop the disease. Um, it cannot reverse permanent damage, but I do think stem cells can do that in the future. We need to open up stem cell research. We need to get this liberation procedure. Uh, Stanford University is doing it. Buffalo knows what, what to do. Buffalo, New York is a clinic, a neuro clinic there. Uh, Wayne State University um, has the MRI imaging capabilities with, to uh, detect the iron deposits in the brain. The word's out. Independent um, in, scrupulous doctors are working on it and it's you can't you can't un, unlearn what 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 this is so we have to be patient let's stick to our current therapies keep each other informed don't just forget about it it's been you know a little while since my first video i'm not going to forget about it. i'm not just going to go and, well now we're going to be doing multiple sclerosis and depression and forget all about ccsvi and we need to defend Dr. Zamboni. We need to defend his research. I'm telling you, everything that he is saying makes sense. Um, you cannot dispute his evidence. You cannot dispute just the logic of, of this condition, of it being causal. So that's my video, and uh, I want everybody to have a great day. God bless. Um, keep the emails coming, and I'll answer as many questions as I can. 
Take care. Bye-bye.